we have signed the plan with, with the Water Resource Group uh, under WEF, and this plan is to come and support South Africa and working towards the African continent as well, SADC first and then the African continent, because our objective is to work within the continent, particularly because we are currently the president of AMCA, which is African Water uh, Minister's Council. And the plan is really to ensure that we use water in a manner that will support growth. We have just developed a, a growth path, a new growth strategy, but we also name this plan of ours in South Africa, Water for Growth. Now, the services that we're getting and even support that we're getting that we'll be working on the partnership is really to manage the water demand because there's a lot of water that's being wasted and we also know that uh, in a short space of time, and in fact it's not quite a short space of time, in the future there's likelihood that uh, we'll run out of water yeah. and definitely want to manage the demand side so that there's um, in agricultural sector, for instance, where there's over usage of water, where there's uh, no efficiency of, on usage of water, that kind of inefficiency comes about. Yeah. Look at infrastructure, wastage in municipalities, we look at uh, water treatment plants, those areas, you know, from the demand side as well as the supply side. Now, Minister, one of the accusations that's always leveled against our governments is that sometimes our African governments do not plan long term enough. I mean, if we look at, for instance, what happened with the power situation, ESCOM failed to anticipate that the economy was growing and was going to need more and more and more power and as a result we ended up with uh, power shortages on the water side where is the government's long-term water plan is this part of it we actually have two plans currently uh, happening at the presidency you will aware will be aware that South Africa has established what we call the planning commission the planning commission plans from water to electricity everything else intertwined put together to put the plan of the country together but they're working with us as well. We plan long term as well, but to an extent that we don't go up to 2050 as they would. Uh, sure. So we do have that plan. We actually don't believe that given that plan, we will be able to make it given the amount of growth that's happening currently in the country. So we need to review this plan and this is what this partnership is about sure. for experiences that has been gained elsewhere in Jordan, in India, uh, the water resource uh, group will help us with that. Absolutely. Peter, excuse my surprise here because I see you here, you're standing beside the Minister of Water Affairs. She does not produce any cocoa and therefore I'm wondering what's in it for Nestle? Well, first of all, I'm here as a chairman of the World Economic Forum uh, Water Gr Resource Group. I'm not so much here as a chairman of Nestle, but um, it is very important for us. Uh, you talked about long term. We were looking long term. What would be obstacles to growth for the world economy? And we found out that the water situation was one of the most important obstacles for growth. And therefore, we launched this initiative. Uh, we found out that by 2030, it's not so long, we are going to have a gap of about 40% of water uh, that we will need, uh, need in order to assure that we can have continuously economic and social development. And therefore, we started to look for solutions. And we have elaborated now a full catalog of decisions that can be implemented by governments in order to improve the efficiency of water use, both in industry, in agriculture, and in the municipal water supply. Sure.